But um, you got uh the the topic of you know J two being gay, and I didn't know how that was gonna play out in the battle rap world. You know what I'm saying? He ain't the first gay rapper I didn't ever you know battle rapper I didn't you know seen uh battling or whatever, but. He's the first one on the big stage like this. So I didn't know how people, if they was going to have bias or if they were going to be fair to the kid. You know what I mean? Um, me, I don't have no opinion about your sexual preference. Your sexual preference is yours. You own it. Do what you got to do. It ain't me. So why the hell should I care what another nigga doing, man? Let's just call it what it is, man. I, I respect everybody until they prove to me they don't need that. They don't need that respect. You know? What's going on, world? It's your boy T Main, right back at it, right back in the attic for another day of this battle rap shit. So, you know, we got a long, um, you know, segment here because we got eight battles we got to talk about. I'm gonna just go ahead and split them up. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna even get, I'm gonna let y'all pick and choose which ones y'all wanna hear the recaps of or whatever. I ain't gonna even sit up here and put a long 40 minute to an hour video, but I know I'm gonna be here for a while because we got a lot to talk about, man. We, before I even get started though, like and subscribe to your boy, Top Flow TV channel. It only take two seconds, you know what I'm saying? Give y'all a little time going here to subscribe and like this video, man. All right, man, so we got UM4, you know? We got uh, Surf in the building, Jay Black in the building, Smack, of course, in the building. And then we got uh, the battle rappers. Now, it was a lot of battle rappers. We got 16 total. We about to be talking about the whole situation. We about to put it all in perspective. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, oh my goodness, man. You you picked right now. He was been quiet all day. And right now, my little son want to start wilding out. Anyways, though, let's get straight to it. The first battle. Oh, First, before I get started, though, man, I want to talk about these judges. I think these judges was fired, all right? I like the judges, man. And listen, let me say this. I like uh, Tony Bro. I'm glad he been at, been on all the Ultimate Madnesses because he definitely, you know what I'm saying? What, he, he's that guy, man. He's that guy. Um, But I like Gaddis, man. I think she was I think she was colder than DNA, Chilla Jones, Hurricane Dude. And, and Tony Bro. Tony Bro probably was up there with her because he cold with the judges. But Gaddis was hard. Like, I, she can rap good. Like, she's starting to just climb up the ladder for me, man. She already one of my favorite female battle rappers, if not the favorite female battle rapper. Now she she my best judge, too. Good shit. So you got True Foe versus J2. Um, A lot of controversy surrounding this battle. You know, True Foe been around. He been doing this thing. He's not a he's not bad at all. Um, even previous to this battle, J Two, of course, he been doing his thing. But you know what I'm saying? You knew it was gonna be something because of the fact that um, we I, I didn't know how this was gonna be how this was gonna turn out. All right, let me explain what I'm trying to say because I'm a little choppy right now. All right, I've been sipping a little bit, man. You know, it's a long ass three three and a half hour. You know what I'm saying? Tournament going on, man. I'm trying to stay up. You know what I mean? I'm getting older, fellas and gals. But um, you got uh the the topic of you know j2 being gay and i didn't know how that was gonna play out in the battle rap world you know what i'm saying he ain't the first gay rapper i didn't ever you know battle rapper i didn't you know seen uh battling or whatever but he's the first one on the big stage like this so i didn't know how people if they was going to have bias or if they were going to be fair to the kid you know what i mean um, me, I don't have no opinion about your sexual preference. Your sexual preference is yours. You own it. Do what you got to do. It ain't me. So why the hell should I care what another nigga doing, man? Let's just call it what it is, man. I, I respect everybody until they prove to me they don't need that. They don't need that respect, you know? So anyways, going into the battle, um, I already knew J2. He, you know what I'm saying? He got his moments. He, he ain't a bad battle rapper. He's okay. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say he's the best battle 
battle rapper, and I'm not going to say he the worst. True Foe, he's solid. He has very, he has high potential. Um, I could see him doing great things in this battle rap culture. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it was a good battle all around. I like the energy from both. You know, True Foe was just overall better in my opinion. Um, I think he, you know what I'm saying? I think he hit on on more things that I could relate relate to and the consistency could probably relate to a little bit more. You know, J2 got an uphill battle to climb because it's going to be hard to get people to really, really understand where you're coming from being that most people, you know what I'm saying, in this battle rap culture isn't um, aligned with what you have uh, in your repertoire or in your personal life. And you know, that's gonna always be an angle. That's gonna be everybody's top angle and people gonna try to flip it in different ways. It's gonna be an uphill battle for J2. But I think that um, as long as he got thick skin, man, he should be able to be okay. Um, am I interested in seeing him battle again? It wasn't like he was that bad to where I'm like, no, so yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing him on um, Smack URL again. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, that's all I got to pretty much say on that. I got True Foe winning that one. Um, two one, possibly three up. No disrespect to J two. J two was solid. He was cool. You know what I'm saying? But I think it was two one. True Foe. You know, True Foe brought a little bit more to the table. You know what I'm saying? And then you got. Uh, Swervo, Swervo versus real name Brandon. And, uh, you know, I felt like this was going to be an interesting battle anyway because real name Brandon already, you know what I'm saying, has has made a name for himself. You know what I'm saying? He's been doing this thing in a riot or whatever. Um, the West Coast has been killing in the battle rap scene. He's been a part of that. So... You know, I was already interested to see if he was going to be able to maintain that level of competitiveness, uh, competitiveness that he's shown me in previous battles. And you know what I'm saying? He definitely did. He had he had brung his A game. You know what I'm saying? You got to bring your A game in this URL setting because this is where the killers at. This is where the big names at. This is what where you become a star at. Like you can do that um, on King of the Dot RBE and other places as well, but. A lot of people are already attached to the lineage of the URL since the Smack DVD days. So, you know what I'm saying? They gonna always reign supreme um, until they do something stupid or whatever. They have to do something real stupid to lose uh, they spot. So if you on that spot and you on that main stage and you, you know what I'm saying, got the opportunity to battle in front of Smack, you gotta bring your A game. And I feel like, you know what I'm saying, Swervo was, average i'm not gonna say he was garbage i'm not gonna say he was garbage i'm not gonna say he was a bum but i will say he was average so you know what i'm saying that means he got some work to do um could i imagine seeing him on url stage moving forward on some of the you know what i'm saying the volumes or some of the lower tier uh cards yeah he got to prove himself a little bit more because he didn't he didn't come with enough against real name Brandon. And then you got real name Brandon. Uh, he was on fire in a second. You know, man, he popped off in a second. Um, that was interesting, man. A lot of people don't usually, you know, I mean, I can't say how people structure their battles, but I would have expected to see that second and the third because his third to me wasn't as potent as his first and second rounds you know what i'm saying so did he write up or down it seemed like he you know what i'm saying he put his best material in the beginning not to say that his third round was whack because it wasn't i think it was solid man you know what i'm saying um i'm not gonna even act like it wasn't solid you know so um swervo he got off in the third though so y'all got to, y'all, you know, like I said, he ain't no bum. He got off in the third. Mm -hmm. His third was definitely his best round. His third was definitely his best round. And I feel like, you know what I'm saying? If he could have put together three rounds like that, we'd have a different conversation. We'd probably be talking about a 2-1 either way or whatever. Because like I said, real name Brandon did what he had to do. You feel me? So I ain't even gonna knock it. Um, 
Y'all let me know, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the business before pleasure merch. You feel me? This just this the hat or whatever. You know, we got a lot of stuff, man. Support your boy. You know what I mean? I'm bringing this content to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna shop anyway, man. Why don't y'all shop with y'all brother, man? For real. This your boy T Man. Right back in the attic, right back at it for another day of this battle rap shit. Backbone, you can hate when you rate my flow. As long as you authentic and no, I'm not in my mama basement, though, you weirdo. Lyrical exercise, I say what they won't hear, though. Weirdos, I keep it a hundred. Used to have zero teardrops on my pillow. Gay info, now I'm your hero. Lyrical exercise, I say what they won't hear, though. Lyrical exercise.